Hello, this is Jeff Sullivan with the Dell Tech Center. This is a demonstration of the MD3000i configuration utility. It's a neat feature that is on the resource CD that helps automate the configuration of both the MD3000i as well as the host and its connections to the iSCSI LUNs. This interface is launched from the setup file on the resource CD. The demo assumes you've already gone through the MD3000i storage software installation. So we'll click on the MD3000i configuration utility button, which will bring us to the wizard to help us configure the box. Click next on the information screen. And in this case, we do want to configure the MD3000i, although if you already had that done and this was a new host, we could just select that configure host. We don't or we are going to discover new arrays and click next. We could load from a save configuration if we had done this previously. Uh, in this case, we're going to do manual. You notice the the IP address values below are for the defaults when you first set up a system. I've already uh, put manage new IP addresses on our MD3000i here in the lab, so I'm going to use those. Takes just a second. It'll find our host, which doesn't have a name because I wiped the entire system. For purposes of this demo, we'll say next on our system, and shortly we'll get to rename it. I'm going to name it R2MD3000i because that's uh, in our rack 2. We have four MD3000s in our lab, and this one's in our second rack. I'm going to go ahead and click Next. Uh, I am going to specify a configuration manually. And click Next again. So this is the IP address of the management port, the first port, which since I specified it earlier, we're going to go ahead and leave it at 10.10.10.24. Here's the IP address for the second management port. Uh, we're going to use IP4, IP version 4, not version 6, for our iSCSI ports. We'll click next. So this is the controller, the first or controller 0 first port. We'll go ahead and put in our IP address. You'll notice on the screen above that we can see. Uh, all four of the ports and their IP addresses. So here we are, finish up with the first port on the first controller, or controller zero if you will. Do the second port on that controller. We'll go ahead and finish that, click next. Do our first port on the second controller. We'll click next again and then we'll do our second port on the second controller. You could use authentication and purposes of this demonstration, we're not, so we're just going to go ahead and click next. Here's a, a summary overview of what we've set up, and then we're just going to go ahead and click apply, and now it's writing out our configuration. We do have the option to save this so that we can load it when we do uh, on another system for the host configuration, which by the way, uh, it asks us if we want to configure another host. We're going to go ahead and say no. But we are going to do the host configuration right here. And I want to show you that we don't have anything in our iSCSI initiator currently. And that's another neat little feature of this MD configuration utility is that it will actually populate all that for us just by running through these steps. So it went ahead and loaded our R2 MD3000i config. We're going to go ahead and say next. Had we multiples, we would pick the one that we wanted to use. I'm just going to go ahead and, and leave the, uh, the way the initiator should log in at defaults on both controllers. So the first one and the second one, controller 0 and controller 1. And then I'm going to say apply. And 
just like that, now the MD3000i is aware of our host, and the host is aware of our MD3000i, which you know, I'll go over here and open the uh, iSCSI initiator in just a second. Click Finish, and now we're we're done with the MD3000i configuration utility. So if you look at our iSCSI initiator, that configuration utility has gone ahead and created our our targets and gone ahead and logged in. Okay, so now we're going to go into the MDSM, our modular disk storage manager, and actually go ahead and and uh, finish out the host connection, go ahead and create a LUN, and then connect it back to the host. There's other demos on DellTechCenter.com that show uh, a more in-depth demonstration of the MDSM. So we're going to go ahead and say configure host access automatic. You'll notice, look, there's our host that it went ahead and populated for us from the configuration utility. We're going to go ahead and add that say OK. One thing I found is that you know I would click OK here and go back to immediately uh, trying to attach the LUN but my host wouldn't be there. It, it actually takes a, a couple of seconds and one way I verify that is going back in and saying view configured host. You'll notice it's not there and then you know, I wait just about a second and then I, I click it again and there it is. So now I'm ready to go ahead and go through the, the LUN wizard which is down here on the create disk groups and virtual disks. We'll go ahead and click that. And I don't have any configured capacity, so we're going to go ahead and use unconfigured capacity. Say next. Go ahead and do the uh, automatic. Uh, give it a second, then it'll let us choose our RAID level. In this case, you I'm just going to go with RAID 5, you know, get a little bit larger disk, click Next. I'm going to go ahead and name my LUN. I'm going to leave it as a virtual disk I.O. characteristics for file system. Click Next again. Select our host which wouldn't have been there if we hadn't waited those couple of seconds I talked about a minute ago. Click Finish. This takes a second, then we'll, we'll go over to the Windows 2008 Server Manager and actually go ahead and, and finish the connection to the volume. No, we don't want to create another disk. We'll go ahead and minimize this window. Drop into the server manager. Click on storage, disk management. And when we first come in, you'll notice that, you know, when I scroll up and down here, we don't we don't see our iSCSI LUN just yet. But if I do a rescan of the disks. here in our list and then we can go ahead and put it online initialize and format this has been Jeff Sullivan for the Dell Tech Center thanks for your time